So here we are, I'm at my first checkpoint. I'm now coming off of the uh, yellow trail and I'm going on to the red marker trail for Slide Mountain and it's about two miles or so. It's uh, sun's up, it's about 8 a.m. and uh, the heat is already on, I feel warm. Um, pack's heavy, but uh, I'll make it. So I'm starting to get up there in elevation. Um, I'm starting to see uh, a couple of views. And uh, so far so good. I think I'm making pretty good time. Because I'm warmed up and uh, everything seems to be going okay. <sighs> Carrying a lot of weight. I got two, uh, two uh, gel cell batteries which are pretty heavy. But want to have as much uh, operating time as deep as possible, so I just kind of slowed my pace down and I, I think I'm fine. So. Little animals make a lot of noise. <laughs> so I'm getting up there in elevation and uh, snow. It's uh, May 1st and uh, there's still, oh wow. A lot of snow. Good grief. Oh, Alright, well at least it's hard packed. So I don't have to trudge through it too hard. I was uh, tempted to bring snowshoes on the chance that this would be here, but I'm almost to the top and uh, it's not really uh, impassable, so I'll be just fine. I didn't want to have the weight of snowshoes as well, so Looks like I'll be all right. Just passing about 4,000 feet of elevation and uh, still some snow in the trail, but uh, just pushing through, it's not bad. Making great time this morning, going a lot faster than uh, I thought it would take, so I'm happy about that. And uh, the parking lot was empty when I got here. Well, aside from one car, but I think that was a camper. I saw the campsite set up down at the bottom. So, hopefully I'll have the peak to myself for a while to uh, play with the radios. I'm finally uh, treated with a nice view here, and uh, spectacular. Just amazing. Can't imagine it being much longer. I'm uh, approaching what looks like the summit now. You see a concrete rock type base. So I think I'm here. Really not too much of a view. <laughs> this is it. So the sun is out. I'm uh, up on uh, Slide Mountain right now. It's uh, just about uh, 9.45 or so in the morning. And um, I've got myself set up and I just wanted to go over my gear and how I have everything set up. So the bulk of my weight today was carrying these two 8 amp hour uh, batteries up. I've got them uh, linked up in parallel and I've just got little alligator clips uh, clamped in. And I've got my uh, watt meter so I can see how much voltage I have and how many amps I've used. I have that. It's going to go into my uh, my 2 meter uh, sideband and FM amp and I'm going to be running my uh, FT817 today just off battery power and uh, depending on if I need the amp I'll uh, throw it onto the gel cells. Um, also I brought up my uh, tripod and I have on it my uh, arrow antenna with uh, the 2 meter elements horizontal for sideband and uh, I'm just getting myself ready here to operate and uh, take advantage of a uh, awesome morning. The sun's out. I feel warm now. Um, coming up, I was kind of sucking wind, but you know, carrying that much weight is expected. Um, but, uh, Summit uh, activation peak of Whiskey Two Greater Catskills GC 001 Slide Mountain, New York. 
CQ, 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 this is Kilowatt 2, Foxtrot Radio, K2FR, Mountaintop Portable, atop Slide Mountain, New York, 4,200 feet of elevation, pointing south, pointing south, pointing south. CQ, 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 this is Kilowatt 2, Foxtrot Radio, K2FR, Mountaintop Portable, looking for Dave, N2TEB, and PA. How's your copy? Loud and clear, loud and clear. You're about at S7, S8 in the clear, and uh, looks like uh, it's working. Okay. WB2 OEE, this is K2FR Mountaintop Portable. How do you copy, Steve? K2FR, W1COT. Yep, I've got a copy on you again. Uh, how's my copy down there? Andrew, your copy's pretty good. Uh, here's the uh, pretty cool thing about this right now is that I'm talking to you on the SP817, probably pushing about three watts, probably pushing about three watts. Do you copy? Uh, loud and clear, actually. Loud and clear. I'm going to kick my amp off. My amp is now off. Do you still copy? Do you still copy? My amp is off. My amp is back on. My amp is back on. How was the copy in there? Strong copy, Andrew. S7, S7 here. Your really strong copy with the amplifier. Copy that? Roger that. Roger that. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's freaking awesome out. The sun came out. It's uh, warming up. There's a lot of snow in the peak. I actually had to truck through um, quite a bit of snow to get up here, but uh, it was worth it. QSL, QSL. Hey, K2FR, uh, say a quick hello. K1TEO, copy. K2FR, K2FR from Alpha Alpha 1 India, Foxtrot November 32. Mountain, New York, how's the copy? Yeah, very good there. K2FR, K2DGM, Fox Nancy 20. Uh... So, 73 is a good luck. So, I found a little clearing and uh, I went down the other side to uh, stop at a spring and get some fresh water. And, uh, not too much of a view up here, but it's a really awesome day for it. Had a good time, made a bunch of contacts, and uh, I'm out in the wilderness. Yeah, I guess I really wouldn't call this wilderness, it's a park. I was out for a nice hike, the weather's perfect. I mean, what more do you really need on a uh, Saturday? So, I didn't make any contacts on HF. I'm a little disappointed about that, but, you know, the HF bands just weren't working, so... What do you to do? Oh well. Made a bunch of cool two meter contacts. I uh, made a two meter sideband contact with my brother Dave, uh, N2TEB, down in Philly. And it was about a 140 mile um, contact, so I was pretty excited about that. There's a bunch of other people on there, and uh, it was good times. So I just packed up, I had some lunch, got some fresh water from the spring, and uh, I'm going to head on down the trail and uh, call it a day. This is K2FR. Sign and clear.